Astronaut Peter Thomas, we have been in space for two days. The date is now 8 10 90. Earth time is exactly 2 a.m. Planet Earth is blue. There are no space objects nearby. Robert? Where are you? BSE calling Space Station Beta 2. Do you read me? Over. This is British Space Exploration calling Space Station Beta 2. Respond. Over. This is Beta 2. Go ahead, BSE. Over. The supply ship will be with you shortly. It's just left the docking bay. Shouldn't you be sleeping? Where's Robert? Not sure. He should be here by now. <laughs> the lazy. Hello? Peter? What was that sound? Robert? Simon? S Simon? W what's happening? To the walls? Robert? Robert, he's dead! I think... I think they're all... dying. Peter? Peter, what do you mean? Peter, are you? We must not overlook the possibility of sabotage from a number of sources. The establishing of a network of space stations through British could cause major concern in some area, both on Earth and beyond. I look forward to receiving your comments, Minister. Etc. Etc. Good God! Is everything okay, Colonel? Sergeant Gray, there's a box on the lawn. Not sure where it came from. Send someone to investigate and report straight to me. Yes, sir. England, 9th of October 2090. Should be 1pm if I fix the old girl right. I told you to stop calling her old girl. I've always called her that. No need to change it now. Oh look, a soldier is approaching us. Oh great, we've stumbled upon some top secret operation have we? Hope not. Smile nicely Miss Anderson. You do realise that you're trespassing on military property sir? Would you both follow me, please? Certainly. We'll soon clear up this misunderstanding. Are you sure about that? Of course. They don't call me the doctor for nothing. Enter. Two intruders, sir, found by that police box. This one says he's called the doctor. The doctor? That's correct, Major. This is my companion, Hazel Anderson. Companion? I'm his friend. It's Colonel, actually. Colonel Drayton. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Uh, uh, sir. I wish I could say the same. Exactly who are you and what are you doing trespassing on military property? I thought we'd been through all of this. I'm the Doctor and this is Hazel. Are you trying to tell me that you are the Doctor? Unit's former scientific advisor? Yes, I was. Uh, Former? What's unit? I'll explain later. You turn up here with a police box and a child- I'm no child! With this young lady, looking as though you've just stepped out from an industrial warehouse. You really expect me to believe that you're the former scientific advisor from unit? Indeed. I've just been fixing up my ship, hence the- Oil and dirt. Yeah, I stayed out of the way. But if you are the doctor, you'd need to be well over 150 years old. Well, I am. What on earth do you mean, man? Surely if you know me from the old unit archives, then you'd be aware that I'm not, strictly speaking, human. As much as looks may say otherwise, there have been multiple variants of the Doctor working at unit. I'm just another in a long line. Satisfied? No, not fully, but I'd be willing to strike a deal with you. Oh? We need someone of the Doctor's intelligence to assist with our project. We'll fill you both in on what happened. If I discover you are not both who you claim to be, I'll have you both arrested and locked up in the Moonbase prison. Satisfied now? Not entirely. I am. How can we help? Britain is preparing to launch three small space stations. 
The second is beta 2. Sent it to orbit two days ago. Something went wrong with it, I'm guessing. Perhaps. Last night, we lost all contact. The last thing we've heard was a scream. A scream? That at the sound of tearing metal. We fear that the hull may have been breached. Design error, perhaps? Exerting pressure on a weak point of the structure? Impossible. The entire structure is intact. We've got pictures and logs of construction and also passing satellites this morning. The hull is untouched. Right. Britain, you said? Correct. British space exploration based in Essex. Essex? <laughs> Couldn't afford London? Liston, where's Merza? Monitoring the robotic production lines. Why? I had some important news. I wanted you both to hear it. I thought you were looking pleased with yourself, Leave. All of us at Inchley Systems have cause to be pleased. Our new business associates have informed us of our little triumph in space. It's all this killing really necessary. It's a means to an end, Liston. The terms of the contract must be fulfilled. Right, of course. We must satisfy the clients at all costs. Everything is going to plan. If you had any reservations, they should have been expressed when the client first contacted us. I understand. The benefits are self-evident. Our profit margins are expanding beyond our wildest dreams. Robotic production lines, quantum field assembly. We're developing totally new technology. We're developing nothing. So beyond our understanding. We're dancing around the flames of an alien power. Wow. This is the British Space Exploration, BSE, the nearest thing to the scene of the mystery. Wow. What are we going to do now? Well, I can't just have you both running around. Sergeant Grey will escort you with Miss Rumpy. Sorry, we don't cater for visitors. Oh, that's good. Because we're not visitors, apparently. Right. Show them around. I have important work to do. Right. Not like I wasn't busy. Hold your tongue, Romney. Of course. I apologise. Follow me. So this is Beta 3? It is. Just entering its final stage of construction. And you say it's identical to Beta 1 and Beta 2 in every way? Indeed. We need to ensure that all three space stations are the same for fluid compatibility. I suggest we go and interview the staff. I'd like to stay here, Doctor. All this looks... vaguely interesting. Is that allowed? Romney, stay with her. Myself and the Doctor will go. Very well. Glad you could finally join us. Some interfering fool from the government has arrived. Well, I'm sure the Insular Systems International can deal with them, Mirza. What do they want? The usual. Clinging on each. In a better world, I would dispose of his kind of all their sums and deductions. Perhaps I could see them. They would devour you, Liston. <laughs> if I told them what they wanted to know. Sit down. It scares me. I must deal with the government official. I'll soon put them out of the way. Was the one to hear the astronaut on the call. We listened back to it, and it was most disturbing. What happened? The astronaut, Peter Thomas, he mentioned something about the walls. Something's happened to the walls. Robert is dead, he said. I see. Could it have been an outside attack? Impossible, there were no space objects near. The closest manned object in the supply ship, which is still heading there as we speak. To investigate? Maybe help? Precisely. When will it arrive? Ten minutes. That's why Colonel Drayton had to rush off. Now, we must continue our investigation here. Quite. Ripping metal. References to walls. Death. Doesn't fit. Connection established. This is the BSE to supply Shuttle 9. Over. This is British Space Exploration to supply Shuttle 9. Respond. Hello, BSE. This is Supply Shuttle 9, with Lou operating. Over. Hello, Lou. 
Prepare to engage flight stabilizers. Five, four, three, two, one. Engage flight stabilizers now. Engaged. We are 5.23 miles from Beta 2. Over. Thrusters standing by. Countdown set at 5. Okay. Commencing countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Firing thrusters now. Wait. Something's wrong. These are my direct line we can listen to and watch the docking process. Fascinating. Abandon docking. Abandoning docking. Don't be ridiculous. We must abort. Do not abort. Something's wrong. We need to get to the colonel's office. I agree. I don't understand, Lou. What is happening? What is the meaning of this? Stop. It's a trap. It must be. Abort now. What is he talking about, Sergeant? Please, Colonel. We fear there must be something larger at work. It may be too late. Abort. Abort. Fire starboard thrusters now. What's happening, Doctor? Get Beta 2 on the scanner. Abort at once. Fire tail engines now. Firing jet at once. Oh, B Beta 2. What's happening? No! No! Are you there? Has he? Supply Shuttle 9 has been destroyed by the Beta 2 space station! Very observant, Colonel. But Doctor, these space stations aren't equipped with these kind of weapons. What about defence systems? No defence system. Sounds like a design flaw there. Would you stop that? The supply crew have perished! How could this have happened? There's something dangerous aboard this station. A threat to us. Where's Beta 1? In orbit around Earth already. But we do have the blueprints. Liao, listen. At 15 first today, Beta 3 will be launched. There will be 13 stations in orbit, but I have received distressing news. Colonel Drayton is going in person to the launch site to prevent this event. You must destroy him. Destroy? Yes, I agree. <sighs> this is hopeless. I've been examining these blueprints for half an hour. There are still... No clues. Sergeant, you've not seen Hazel around, have you? Not since we left her, but I can check the system for her movements. Please do. She's in the factory. The factory? Which one? Quickly. Uh, Insula... Insula Systems International. Wow. I love this. So many... Wall sections. That's not insulation if ever I've seen it. Oh my god! What's happening? We'll have to call. No calling. This is breaking and entering. My friend is in there. You will freeze on the spot! Ah. Are you the UI, or is it AI, by now? We have company. Do we? Can't you hear Mercer talking to them? Scan him! He's known. The Doctor, currently working on the British space exploration. He must be killed. No! That's not necessary! It will be necessary. There are no feasible alternatives. Mercer is giving him an audience anyway. Where's the bloody exit? Oh, it's almost out. Move, I need to get out. Advance no further. Well, robots. I was hoping I'd see one in a nicer situation. But please move, there's something in those walls. Halt or you will be destroyed. Oh, great. Hello? Anyone there? Gone quiet on us. You two, this way. Who the devil are you? Shh, shut up. Come on. Won't they have seen us? 
us would have left the comms by now. Mercer, who's Mercer? Oh, the person on the comms she's just talking to. Why are we whispering? Oh, <clears throat> my name's Liston. You need to get out of here. Why? No questions. Just get out. Warn the government. Shut this place down. Whatever. Conduct a full investigation. We can't go anywhere. My friend is here. How did she get here? We left her at the production line at the British Space Exploration. <laughs> That's a long story. Well, give me the synopsis then. There's something in the walls. Something that can kill. It can also transport others in a blink of an eye. The walls? Is that what happened to the astronauts? Well, answer me! Liston, where are you? Mirza? Hello. Sorry, I went outside for some air. It all got a bit exciting for me. What's going on? It's gotten out of control here. They... They don't know what they're doing. Who? This Mercer guy? And another. Her name's Leave. As predicted. Mercer, please. Traitor. You two, go now! Tell the government! The satellite network! Stop! Satellites? The network must have... Ah! Warn them! Listen. He won't answer. He's quite dead. You are evil. In this world, we're all tainted with evil. Some more than others. Watch your words, Doctor. Have we met before? Keep your mouth shut and get moving. Whatever you're doing, you won't succeed. You really are an arrogant man. It's 22, sir. The station will be sent into orbit in 25 minutes. God damn it! I know the bazookas! So this is the centre of your operations. Are these your intruders? The Doctor and one human. He didn't bother to take my name. What have you done with Liston? They killed him. That's a lie. Quiet! What really happened? Liston was a traitor. Traitor? To the cause? Didn't know you signed up for life. Liston was... eliminated. You killed him? It was for the best, Liav. There was no alternative. There's always an alternative to murder. Still, I'm sure you are only doing your duty. But for whom, I wonder? Your curiosity will torture you no longer. Ah, the Regellans. How did I not realise? The drop in the temperature, the automated technology then, of course, the quantum field assembly. What are the Regellans? Regellans are creatures resembling Earth warthogs. Not very flattering, but true. Originally lived on Regalos IV. You know of us. I'm a Time Lord. We should kill him now. But why Earth? Surely it's too hot for you. We shall not reveal our intentions to you, Time Lord. Time for some entertainment, I feel. Get off me! Miss Anderson, what happened? I was with Romney Silence. when... Silence. Activate drill attachment. Confirm. What are you going to do to her? I want the truth, Doctor. I want answers to my questions. Why are you here? Curiosity. Move the drill closer. Doctor! Stop this. Only the truth will serve us. Resistance is neutralized. We've got a window of opportunity to stop the launch. And he knows of the Doctor. Readouts show that he's gone to some factory in Essex. In that case, he'll be in trouble. I've got to go and stop the launch. Get help to the doctor as soon as possible. Just stop. Please. Mirza, stop this. This is going too far. The minister's dead. Liston is dead. Y you can't just slaughter the human. You are weak, Liav. Liston was right. You've changed. I thought this was purely a business operation. To create a better world. It still is. Only the means have been altered. You sold the Earth, Mirza. Sold it. New orders. Kill the Ah! 
Doctor! Hazel, come here. That wasn't necessary, Mirza. Reeknus must be punished. What's this? Backup. Government troops. Our defences will repel them. You should really pay attention to that robot. Excuse me? Run! What happened in there? Liev's blood in the robot system. It short-circuited. But Hazel, how did you even get here? We left you with Romney. That's what I thought. But she said she was going to show me the launch sequence, and then suddenly I was in the factory. Doctor, you mentioned it may have been the walls. There was a wall that broke before the robot grabbed me. Set countdown. Countdown set to 50. Beginning pre-ignition checks. Okay, go to computer link up. Colonel? What are my orders? Engage ignition sequence. No! Ignition sequence engaged. Commence the countdown, now. What do you think you're doing? Whose authority do you follow? I don't understand. I told you to hold the launch. You must abort. It's too late now. Why, Rumpy? Why did you ignore a direct order? It can't be stopped now. Why do you still care? It's what Beta 3 will do. Glad you could all join us. Where are we going? The launch site. Colonel Drayton is there. Hurry. Times have changed, Drayton. Ah! What are you doing? Shut up. Ah! Why? Ten seconds to ignition. You're too late. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, I found the countdown! Five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition. No! As planned. So, you... You want this to happen? Why report Peter Thomas dead? It would have seemed suspicious if I didn't. But nobody suspects the director's assistant, do they? <coughs> You'll be dead soon. The colonel was too late. Not possible. He was here in plenty of time. Hazel, do you know what came out of the wall? I'm not... I'm not sure. I didn't see. Was it by any chance that robot that captured you? I'm not sure. So where did the robot come from exactly? You're saying that Mirza and his crew planted robots into the wall panels manufactured for the BSE. I believe so. My discoveries are a so. One, the panels double as robot containers. Two, the metal acts as a transceiver as well as a receiver. Three, it's encoded with circuitry for a force field device. Why, though? I imagine to block out the sun. That means the temperature would be lowered, which, as mentioned earlier, is the Regellon's M.O. Colonel, what happened here? Romany! He was shot. He died. I... I don't know what to do. The crew member is dead, too. Also shot. How did you escape unharmed? I hid when the shooting started. I didn't see who it was, but their voice... It was... weird. Was it Mirza? More than likely. His regalum metabolism enables him to move at fast speeds. He beat us here and sent Beta-3 off into orbit. What can we do now? It all has to do something with the 13 space stations orbiting Earth. How many space stations are we in control of here? Only our three. The remaining ten belong to the other nations. I need to get up there. I need to find out what's going on up there. Doctor... They said that when people went up there, all contact was lost. All is lost if I don't, Hazel. I need you down here, safe. Sergeant Gray and Romney will be here. I agree with Hazel. This is too dangerous. I must do this, Romney. Sergeant, how soon can you muster a ship? I shall attempt now. Look at us, eh? Mm. A week ago, it was Christmas in 1994. Oh yes, quite. That would make this the new year, wouldn't it? 1995. I imagine this is all very odd. We were able to find this. That? An escape pod? We've built for a museum. I'm travelling into space in an artefact. Wouldn't it be easier to use the TARDIS? I can't risk the old girl. Not with what's up there. Rest assured, Hazel, I'll be back for you and her. Best get moving. Beta 3 will be entering orbit now. Helmet, please. There you go. Thank you, Miss Anderson. See you 
you on the other side. Not if I see you first. Come along, Miss Anderson. Right, yeah. Sergeant, we've lost all contact with the Doctor's pod. We have? How? We did ignore multiple safety checks. He should never have been granted permission to use the space station. This is a disgrace to... Roger, Ronnie. The Colonel's not here, so that makes me in charge. Yes, sir. Will they be alright? Of course. We've sent out our finest astronaut up there with him. Say, Graham, is our finest? Sure. What do you mean? He's retired after failing his health checks. This isn't at all what the BSE should stand for. Romney, silence. The doctor's pod is entering orbit. Excuse me. Romney! Uh... Let her go, Miss Anderson. If I'm right, above us is connection 13, the last link in the chain. Events may happen at much greater speed here. Shame we have to cancel safety checks. Hang on. I'll have to open the bottom panel here and tinker manually. There's a feedback loop in the fuel store. Oh, as if a pulse did it. Graham, can you scan the immediate environment, please? There won't be anything out there. Please do it. The pulse on my ship is disturbing their fuel store. They'll not make it into orbit. Fantastic. It'll all be blamed on the safety checks. Great! Something's happened. They've increased speed! A nice bit of sonic technology. We're nearly there. Whatever you've done, it worked. All in one piece. Get back, Graham. The robots are coming through. Ah, Ronnie. There seems to be progress on the flight path. Oh? They've docked with Beta 3. Th- there was a little blip in the middle, but they're all right now. Romney, what is this? Stay still. You are to do nothing. You're. You're one of them. No. I'm not. But you're on their side. You killed the colonel. He was going to stop the launch. I had no choice. So what happens now? Merza will deal with the Doctor and Graham. Close the door. Quickly, man. This was not in the job description. What do we do now? I honestly don't know. I was told you had a plan. Doctor, do you hear me? That'll be Merza. We do. Do you surrender? Call off your robots, or I blow the station to pieces. What? You're bluffing. We can always find out. Those robots. They're gone. For the time being. I'm taking the reactor down from the overload status. Merza will be watching. We need to find another way to break the connection. We need access to the control cabin. No problem. You can't! On the contrary, I have. Stand back, I'm armed. What's this? This ship is being controlled by another source. I was in the understanding that it was a launch room back on Earth. Someone sabotaged us. We've not got much time. What are you doing? Looking through the schematics. Watch the door. Ah, the panels are encoded with circuitry which acts as a transceiver for the force field. Then we have to alter the encoded pattern or burn it out. How? I can't risk calling the control room for help. Not now. They've been compromised. How are we doing out there? Look out! Ah! You didn't have to do that. Let me see. 
You were trying to drain the life support systems. Pah! My machine can survive such trickery. Ha! We were told you were a genius. Quite. What is this? You did exactly what I wanted you to. Now, I'll be having this. My weapon! Give it back! Not quite. I've got to dash. Connection 13 is broken. Goodbye. Robots! Stop him! What do you plan on doing now? Well, I'll kill the sergeant first, then... Detonation? What? Beta 3 has exploded. With the Doctor and Graham on board! Stand down. I'm the one who's armed. Oh. Right. I see. Still, mate. Stand down. You mentioned your alien friend was on board that ship. I doubt he made it if the Doctor succeeded. Let me check the controls. The, the escape pod's leaving the ship. Where will they land? There's a beacon from the launch site. The ship should land nearby. Go and find out. I'll stay about trading. Just about. It's over, Hazel. What happened? I connected the energy systems to the circuitry with the life support systems. Naturally, when I turned them down, I tricked Mercer into thinking I was trying to suffocate him. He turned the systems back up to 100%, which triggered an overload of the robot circuitry. They all exploded, taking out the space station? Yes. Like the robot we saw earlier when it killed poor Liev. Wait, where's Graham? Dead. He died at the hands of Mirza. What happened down here? Romney was a traitor. The colonel's dead. The sergeant has her apprehended. It's not been a good day, has it, Miss Anderson? No. Let's get back to the TARDIS. Oh, she's the TARDIS now. She's anything I want it to be. Come along. Time for a change of scenery. <laughs>